I really do not like my hair. I don't. Maybe I should put on a hat. If it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's up. Did I already film this video? I did. Did I like how it turned out? No. Does my hair still look like a mess? It does. Do I look like a mess now? I do. But we're going to do this again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Renee, for those of you that are new here. Today I'm going to be doing a little January recap. I'm going to do this throughout the year of 2021, just to kind of remember each month individually and what all took place in my life, as well as the world. Text message. we Crazy, because in the first one, she texted me also, and I feel like I did the exact same thing. Play the kip. Kip? Play the kip? Play the clip. Text message. Hold on. My best, you texted me. My hair's a hot mess. What did I do? I hope I look rough now. Whatever. So, if I go back and forth, it's because... I went back and forth. I want to do a little recap of what happened in January because January was pretty fun if you ask me. So we're going to take my handy little phone and I'm probably going to scoot here and have it here. And we're going to go just to my photos and see what all happened in January. I'm going to start off on December 31st just because of where we were at. We were in Florida during this time for New Year's. We went with my mom's family and it was a COVID time. We went to Disney World and I'm just going to not really go through that whole day because I do have, I'm really bad, but I do, I did vlog this day so I'll probably be uploading this vlog. I mean, let me know. Should I upload the vlog? Um... It's like a New Year's vlog, but whatever, it's still fun. Well, not really a New Year's vlog, just a Disney day on the last day of 2020, which I spent at the best place in the world. So this is one of the photos that I took. It was the mini ears that I got. I honestly bought a lot of one, two, three, four, five. I bought five pairs of mini ears this trip. I know, call me crazy, but I did. But this is one of the photos that I took with the ears and the castle and that family in the way. But it's okay <laughs> because it's really pretty and I loved how this looked. It's just kind of like those little hmm, childhood memories. This is whenever we were on the Little Mermaid ride. course the beautiful castle I don't really like that they remodeled it I kind of preferred the other way the way it used to be the colors but it's still nonetheless very beautiful so I'm not complaining it's just you know different and I took a cute photo with an ice cream sandwich look at that Ooh, should I put on my ears let's do it which ones we'll put on these because these are the ones I wore on New Year's Eve. Fast forwarding because I want to save all of this for the video itself. Um, they didn't have a fireworks show because of COVID and social distancing. So they didn't have a fireworks show which was sad. So I took it upon myself but they did have a really cool light show on the screen here. So it actually does change. Well, that was really nice. That's what they did in place of it. But I took it amongst myself to kind of just, you know, put a little filter on it. And I pretended that there was fireworks. That's really what we did on December 31st. And then New Year's happened. It was great. That's right. How could I forget? Something else significantly big that happened during this time, a little bit more serious, was on January 6th we had you know the whole riot happen at the Capitol which is very sad especially for um, the people protecting 
the capital. Oh my gosh, I was wondering this. So during this time, I got sick and like really sick for a second. We all thought I had COVID. I took two or three COVID tests, all came back negative, but I was like bedridden. It started with, I went to my sister's soccer game that night and I started getting like very, like I had a horrible migraine and I usually suffer from migraines, so I didn't think anything of it, but I just had the worst migraine and it just kind of started escalating as the night went on that night my parents went out to um go have dinner with some friends or something like that and there was nobody home besides me and i just came to my bed and i laid down because my head was started hurting so bad then i ended up getting chills and then before i knew it i had a hundred and four degree fever something like that and then my body temperature actually ended up dropping to like 96 94 and it was just like the craziest i didn't eat i lost weight like it was just i mean i gained it back already but <laughs> i lost weight i it was miserable i really thought i had covid and i was stuck in my room for two whole weeks so it turns out i probably had the flu um but it was just like this horrible experience and this video right here of me with my hair is because i hadn't showered um and when i did shower I guess I was laying like when I laid down just like the knots were in my hair and not coming out it was horrible um, and it took me like about a week to get all the knots out because I have a lot of hair and it's very curly something else really special in January is my best friend's birthday so this was me surprising her so it's my best friend Ashley's 25th birthday and I'm currently hiding in her room I'm waiting for her to come home she's on the slingshot so um when she gets here, we'll surprise her with all the stuff that I got. I got her a little pinata and some balloons and flowers and all that jazz. So I'm just waiting in her room. Which might be like an hour or so, but it's fine. Okay, I think I heard her pull up. Which is so. Game on, baby. And I also didn't bring a stick to break this. But it's fine, we'll improvise. Jeez, please. Yeah, so I'm just waiting. Patient and waiting. And I really have to pee. I have to pee. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday <laughs> to you. <ya. laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You're so you scared. The next big event that happened is actually my birthday. So my birthday is five days after Ash's birthday. My birthday is on January 29th. So on January 28th, I took this photo, which was my last official photo as a 24-year-old, exactly 10 minutes before I turned 25. And then this is my first photo as a 25-year-old. And it was really weird because I did not want to turn 25 whatsoever. Um, it was a scary feeling. I think it was probably just as scary as when I turned 20. Something about realizing, like, oh, crap, like, I'm, like, smack in the middle of... My 20s like I'm just cl I'm just as close to 30 as I am 20 I didn't want to turn 25 I felt like 25 was this huge like stepping stone like you know oh right so my birthday landed on a Friday this year and um I kind of had my suspicions I was gonna be throwing a surprise party but then my mom convinced me that I wasn't gonna have a surprise party so then I was like okay I'm not gonna have a surprise party and I was a little splummed out because I was like, I kind of wanted a surprise party, right? I also knew we were going to my grandma's because we were going to make burgers and we were going to play Loteria. So I knew I was going and I knew people were going over, but I knew it wasn't a surprise party because I knew of it. So I ended January with a 25th birthday, which was so much fun and I absolutely loved it. And now I'm excited for what 25 holds. I'm excited to see the relationships that I form and the journey that I take and all the new life experiences to come. And I'm excited to do it with Jesus because I know he's going to bless me beyond, beyond my beliefs, beyond my wildest imagination so that was january for me <clears throat> and my voice has been like going in and out 
But yeah, that was January for me, and I'm so excited to see what the rest of this month holds, because it is February. And we already had some interesting times here in Texas, but again, I'm really just over the moon <laughs> about it. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next month. Well, I'll see you sooner than that, but I'll see you next month for next month's recap. So, yeah, that's all I had to say. Besos. Bye. <laughs>